Okay. Good afternoon and welcome to the latest ATA webinar. Today's webinar is in introducing the ultimate African experience with Sky Safari by Alawana, presented by Miguel Alambao. There will be a recording available at the made of the webinar, which will be distributed after uh, the event to everyone who has registered. At the end of the webinar, there will be time for Q&A. If you have any questions, um, please simply type these into the chat box and I will pose them to Mike at the end of the presentation. Now I will hand over to Mike to take you through the presentation. Mike, over to you. Thanks, Chris. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, as uh, Chris mentioned, my name is Mike and I'm leading Sky Safari uh, team both in Kenya and Tanzania. So it's a pleasure to have you um, here with us in this webinar in which we will try to uh, explain what Sky Safari by L1 is. Um, so to start with what Sky Safari is, Sky Safari is a solution which is provided by trying to offer the best Safari experiences at a great value for money. It is based on the Elewana properties, which I'm pretty sure that most of you are familiar with. So um, offering a quality of service, which is among the top within East Africa. And we endeavor to provide a unique experience to the clients being ahead of their demand. So um, Sky Safari started 2012 um, in Tanzania. So operations began in 2012. And then 2016, we expanded into Kenya with one itinerary in Tanzania and then two itineraries in Kenya. So um, the idea of Sky Safari, the concept of Sky Safari is based in offering Sky Safari experiences, so the Safari experiences, in the best parks that we have in East Africa, using the best accommodations in the convoy and exclusivity of using our private planes. So we have two planes, one which is in Kenya and one which is in Tanzania. Both of them, they are featuring executive configuration and they are featuring the luxury oasis leather interior. So um, the normal Cessnas Grand Caravans, they are sitting up to 13 people. We have a maximum capacity of nine in flat configuration. So we are sitting eight people in the back, and then we have the extra seat next to the pilot, the co-pilot seat. So we are providing up to nine um, seats for each one of the departures. One of the questions which normally arises from this uh, 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 from this slide is whether we are able to operate when there is more than nine clients. So we have different alternatives. We have the possibility of operating either twice a day with that aircraft. We can hire a bigger aircraft or we can operate a Cessna on a non-executive configuration. So sitting up to 13 people. Um, here we have a picture of um, the exterior of our uh, caravan with Peter, the pilot that uh, works with us in the Kenyan itineraries. And um, how about the, the concept of Sky Safari? So Sky Safari uh, is scheduled departures with fixed itineraries, as I was mentioning. We have one in Tanzania and two in Kenya, using our own planes and using Elewana properties, which means a greater quality control and a better follow-up on the passenger's journey and their experiences. So when they are traveling with us, the clients, they are uh, given a special VIP welcome at all properties, which starts not only at the property itself but also at the airport so when the clients they are arriving um, either at Kilimanjaro International Airport in Tanzania or at uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in uh, Nairobi Kenya we are uh, welcoming them directly there at the airport we are transferring to our uh, uh, selected uh, properties and then everywhere they are going to they have special welcome so there is a special um, refreshments for them there is a special desk uh, there's a special table, so we always allocate a VAP treatment for them. And um, we are trying to uh, monitor all the requests from the clients, so we are noting down whether they like a certain type of, uh, of wine or uh, the tea selection, coffee, uh, type of coffee, and so on, and we try to be ahead of the demand. So that the first day, when the clients they are asking their Hendrik gin and tonic, then for the next uh, lodges, we'll be remembering and um, offering the client if they want their Hendrik gin and tonic, so that we can be ahead of the demand. Um, apart from that, we provide um, what we call the single check-in, single check-out. So the clients, they don't have to put their hand in, in their pocket at any time during the itinerary, except for the last Elawana property in which they are in, in case that they had a consumption which is not included. 
Sky Safari is an all-inclusive uh, package, which includes all the house wines, the local beers, and the non-premium spirits, um, with the exception, obviously, that uh, the premium spirits and the uh, champagnes. We even include the, the laundry as well. So in case that the, the client will have a consumption for the premium um, for the premium uh, drinks, then they will be paying at the last Elewana property. We offer handpicked itineraries, so we are featuring the best parks within East Africa, and it's a one-stop product for the agent. So the agent asks for the availability, gets a performer invoice, um, books, sends the client information to us, and then we provide the rest. So the welcome at the airport, the transfers, the flight itinerary, and the safari. Um, we have fast-track uh, check-ins at the airport and airstrips, so that uh, the client doesn't have to, to wait. And as I was mentioning, we have a single check-in. Check uh, by selecting the best parks in which we are offering the Sky Safari itineraries, we are uh, uh, maximizing the chances of having an excellent game viewing um, activity and wildlife in, in rich areas. We have guides that have high, um, uh, lots of experience, they are highly qualified with intimate knowledge of the areas in, in which they are guiding. We have plenty of guides that they have been more than 15 years guiding in the areas, and we have custom design safari vehicles. So um, in the areas which we can operate with uh, open game drive vehicles, we operate with the open game drive vehicles, and where the regulations or the conditions um, do not permit that, then we have uh, the, the pop-up rooftop vehicles. The uh, Sky Safari concept as well is a customer-centric approach. So we, um, we endeavor to have internal quality control mechanisms so that we can know the clients, uh, what they expect, and what can they need, and try to provide it before they even, they even request it. So when it comes to the itineraries, as I was mentioning before, we have uh, the Sky Safari Tanzania Classic, and then we have the Sky Safari uh, uh, Kenya Classic and Konosha. We're going to see now Tanzania Classic. So we can see on the, on the route map, we are starting in Arusha, uh, where we have um, Arusha Coffee Lodge as our uh, hotel um, of choice in, in Arusha. Then we have uh, Tarangire Tree Tops within Tarangire. We're staying at the manor in Gorongoro area. And then we have two camps within the Serengeti. We have migration camp within the northern part of Serengeti, and then we have pioneer camp within the south part of uh, Serengeti. We have possible extensions uh, in the Masai Mara game reserves, Elephant Pepper Camp, Osa River Mara, and then we have uh, Killing the Indian. So um, we do the first night uh, in Arusha Coffee Lodge. We have two nights at Tarangire Tree Tops. We have two nights at the Mara Gorongoro, and then two nights at Migration Camp or Pioneer, depending on the season. So uh, from January up to May, we are staying at Pioneer Camp, and then the rest of the year, we're staying at Migration Camp. And then we have the day, uh, last day, that we can either offer uh, a day room in case that the clients they have an evening departure, and we have the possibility as well of adding pre or post night as well as the extensions that we will see later. So we are arriving um, at Kilimanjaro International Airport, where our uh, representative will uh, collect the clients, and after transferring to Coffee Lodge, um, they will be staying one night there. So Coffee Lodge is sitting um, in a magnificent coffee state within uh, the city of Arusha. We're offering world-class dining. There is uh, some boutiques such as, for example, Tanzanite, uh, uh, Tanzanite Experience uh, boutique that we have. And then we have the possibility of Shanghai and the coffee tour. So the clients, they have their stay at Coffee Lodge. And then the following day, after the briefing that we do in the morning, they are going for a coffee tour. They are going for a Shanghai visit. And then after lunch, they are leaving to the airport. In Tanzania, all the flights that we are operating, they are operating in early afternoon hours. So after about 20 minutes flight um, to Kuro, the airstrip in uh, Tarangire, we are welcomed by Tarangire Tree Tops uh, guides. And then we are having an opportunity of doing a game drive on the way to Tarangire Tree Tops uh, through Tarangire National Park, which is well known for the, the big herd of elephants, bow up uh, dotted landscape. And then um, the next day, what we are offering, we are offering a visit uh, at the Maasai village, Maasai Boma, uh, within the WMA area, which is a wildlife management area, which is protected area, um, followed by a nature walk in the afternoon, and um, sundown experience, and then after that, a night game drive on the way back to the lodge. After that, um, on the last day in Tarangire, when we're checking out from the, from the lodge, then the clients, they are enjoying a game drive through Tarangiri National Park, and uh, they are having the hamper, uh, the hamper lunch. And after that, they are transferred to Kuro Airship, which they, where they will take their Sky Safari flight to Mayara.
we are having about 20 minutes uh, flight onwards. And uh, we are landing in Manara. Um, after 20 minutes uh, flight, in which we're overseeing Lake Manara, we are seeing as well the, the escarpment where the MANA crew is welcoming the guests. So uh, due to the weather conditions at uh, Gorongoro, it's not feasible to, uh, to land on that airstrip uh, for the biggest part of the year so that we're landing in Manara. This is the reason why uh, we have the transfer. We have about 45 to one hour transfer uh, from Manara airstrip to uh, the MANA, so we are on time to hide it. After the first night in, uh, in the MANA, we are um, heading to the crater. So we are having an early morning departure, and then we are having a full day again drive with a hamper uh, lunch as well um, on the crater floor in which the client, they will have the chance of uh, enjoying what is called the Garden of Eden, uh, which is a Goro Goro crater, and uh, having the chance of uh, having uh, seeing the, the big five. Uh, so it's one of the few places in which seeing the rhino is likely. Uh, it's a unique wildlife experience. We can see as well the migrant uh, flamingos in Lake Maradi on the crater floor. And after that, we return back to, uh, to Mali. We have one massage uh, which is included in, uh, uh, within the manor. And then the next day, uh, the last day in, uh, in MANA, we have um, the possibility of doing certain activities such as horseback riding. We have the possibility of doing another coffee steak walk. Uh, we have the possibility of taking a mountain bike or doing the massage if we don't have the time. Or we have the alternative of going to MANA. So the clients, which they wish, they can stay at the property and enjoy it. Or they can be transferred to MANA National Park and then enjoy the, the, wild, the wildlife, the bird watching. Uh, within uh, Manila National Park, as well as the tree climbing lines. And then lunch, they will be transferred to, to Air Street, which uh, will take another 20, uh, sorry, uh, 50 minutes flight to uh, head to the Serengeti. As I was mentioning, during the uh, um, January to uh, May season, we are staying on the southern part of uh, Serengeti to have higher chances of, uh, of spotting the, the migration. And then the rest of the year, we are. Um, in the northern part of, of Lobo. So Serengeti offers great photographic uh, opportunities. Again, we have the big uh, five opportunity uh, with the rhino being uh, more likely to be seen in the southern part. And we all know that uh, it's an HS theater is where the great migration is happening uh, throughout uh, the year. Um, as I was mentioning, Pioneer Camp, which is located in southern uh, part of Serengeti in the area called, uh, called Moru, um, it has uh, uh, it has the views over the, the sunrise with a classic style type of camp on the migration uh, route on biggest part of the year with stunning views and very nearby Lake Magadi and the Morukotis. Lake Magadi is one of the, uh, the lakes which is around the area in which uh, uh, the migration passes by uh, to be able to drink some, uh, some water. And it's uh, as well um, the area in which is home to quite a number of uh, semi-permanent uh, uh, wildlife as well as the Morukotis. Serengeti Migration Camp, which is uh, on the bank of the Grumeti River, overseeing the, the sunset, is uh, further north and it's uh, in the Lobo area. So it's one of the privileged areas in which the, uh, the migration passes by as well, um, on the way to Masai Mara and then on the way back to, uh, to central Seronera. It's quiet and in a secluded location with very few lodges around. It's, as I was mentioning, in the migration route. And um, it's about one hour and a half to two hours from the main Mara River crossing. When it comes to the extensions, we have certain uh, possibilities. So we have the possibility of adding the additional night in, uh, in Arusha, where it is pre-night or post-night. We have the possibility of uh, extending within Serengeti, so either migration camp or pioneer, uh, without any restriction. So if the clients, they stayed in migration camp and they want to stay two more nights in migration camp, we can provide. If they stayed in migration and they want to go to pioneer, we can provide or vice versa. We have the possibility of um, as well extending three nights to uh, Masai Mara so that the clients have greater chances of, of migration, uh, especially on the June to uh, September season, where the, uh, the wild beasts and the zebras are mostly crossing the, the river or Sun, uh, Sun River, uh, Masai Mara, or Elephant Pepper Camp. And then we have the possibility of extending as well uh, to Kilindi, which is a property in Zanzibar. These are the suggested packages that are available uh, within the rates. So if you check the rate sheets, you will see that we have these packages included there and they are featuring the stay themselves the transfers plus the flights however uh, keep in mind that we do provide 
other extension. So shall the client wish to stay five nights in Serengeti or uh, seven nights in Kilindi, or they would like to extend to other properties within the Elewana uh, network, we are more than happy to provide that. We will prepare a special uh, quotation for that, and then uh, you'll be able to select where it suits uh, the client's nature. Um, the possibility of extensions, we have Kilindi Zanzibar on the northern part of, uh, of the island. It's a chic and private hideaway with a private beach. Um, they are villa type on barefoot luxury with uh, focus on the uh, seafood and fish uh, cuisine that is fresh in, in Zanzibar and it's the magnificence of, of Zanzibar. So we have plenty of possibilities as well of, of West Coast or the client may just chill or relax uh, with me too. Um, when it comes to Kenya, we have two routes, as I was mentioning. We have the Kenya uh, Classic and then we have the Kenya Tour. The main difference is uh, in the Classic, we are featuring Amboseli, Meru, and Mara. And then on the Connoisseur, we are featuring Meru, Loisaba, within Akitia, and then Mara. So when it comes to Classic, we have uh, one night in Nairobi, which we have selected Hemingways. Hemingways is the only non Elewana hotel that we are featuring in our um, itineraries. Unfortunately, we do not have um, a property there yet. And we are featuring two nights at Amboseli, which we're staying at Tortillis Camp, two nights at Meru, which we're staying at El Siscopi, two nights at San Riva Mara, uh, within the Masai Mara. And then we have the possibility of uh, uh, leaving uh, Masai Mara in the morning and then going for a, for a lunch and an afternoon international uh, departure, which we are transferring the clients to the airport. We have the possibility of arriving in the evening and then uh, going for dinner and, and having the transfer to the airport or they can stay um, an additional night as well. Um, in Kenya, dislike in Tanzania, we are flying late morning. So we are arriving to Nairobi, and then our uh, representatives, they are transferring the clients to uh, uh, Hemingways, which is within the Keren area, and it's um, uh, overlooking the, the Gong Hills. It offers world-class dining, and it's one of the most luxurious five-star accommodations within Nairobi. Um, very conveniently located, close to the Wilson Airport, which we're going to be uh, using on the, on the transfers. And um, we have the option as well of having the, the different activities um, at an extra cost, which is the Sheldrick Elephant Orphanage or the GF Center, uh, in case that the clients will want to visit uh, uh, any of uh, those two places within, uh, within Nairobi. They are really close to, um, to the hotel. So after that, we're transferring the clients to the uh, Wilson Airport. And then from there, they are uh, having a 40 minutes flight to Amboseli. Amboseli is uh, well known for having stunning views over Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Meru, uh, overlooking on the Tanzanian side, has a huge elephant population. It's excellent for general wildlife viewing, and we are offering as well Masai cultural experiences. Uh, when it comes to the, the camp, um, Tortillis is uh, what we know as a glamping concept within suit tents as well and, and swimming pool. Worth to mention all the Elewana properties they are offering swimming pool. So then after that, we have about an hour and 20 minutes flight uh, uh, from Amboseli to, to Meru. Um, Meru is, uh, the National Park is well known for the big lion prides that, uh, that are living there in, uh, uh, within the park, and it's a rhino sanctuary. So it offers the possibility of having the, the big hive, and then uh, there is exclusive, exclusive for wildlife beings, such as having uh, tree climbing lions, which is less likely in other parks. Uh, within Elsa Scopi, we are offering a massage. Uh, the sun, uh, the sun rises uh, from the property. It's really stunning. It's an elegant lodge which has been awarded with plenty of awards, and um, it's what we call the room with the view, as I was mentioning, because of the uh, the stunning views over the sunrise. It's within an exclusive area of of the park, which is um, as well uh, provides greater um, intimacy and close encounter with the uh, the wildlife. After that, we have about uh, one, hour, one hour and a half uh, uh, flight from Meru to, uh, to the Masai Mara. Masai Mara is well known for being one of the landscapes of the Great Migration. And, uh, it obviously offers as well the possibility of having uh, the chances of spotting the big five as well as the, the big cats. We are offering a Masai cultural experience uh, so that the clients, they, they go to the, the Masai village and they can experience uh, the encounter with, uh, uh, with the Masai tribe and is um, uh, excellent area as well for game viewing all year round. Uh, San River Masai Mara is, uh, uh, is located within the San River area of, uh, of the Masai Mara. And um, it's a course based on the old expedition safari times. It's, um, as I was mentioning, in a, in a quiet area of Masai Mara, which is very near the migration route and really uh, near as well to the main crossing. And um, 
when it comes to the um, itinerary of Konosu, you will see that the main difference is that instead of having Amboseli, we have uh, Loisaba, and then we are starting with Meru. So um, because we've explained the other part, we are going straight to uh, um, Loisaba. So when it comes to um, Loisaba, it's about 40 minutes flight from, uh, from Meru approximately. And Loisaba within the Lakipia Plateau is well known for having unique northern species, such as the, the wild dog, which, which is the main attraction uh, in the area. Loisaba Tented Cam is one of the newest properties of Velewana. It's uh, really stunning with huge um, uh, tents and really stylish. It offers a myriad of uh, safari activities, so we can offer the, the camel riding, uh, we can go fishing. It's within an area uh, of private game considered. When it comes to the extensions that we are offering in, uh, in Kenya, we have um, the possibility of adding three night or post night within uh, Nairobi at Hemingways. Um, we have the possibility of extending in Masai Mara. So shall the clients wish to stay two more nights in San River Mara, they can do it or in Elephant Pepper Camp. And then the same, they can cross on the other side um, into Serengeti and then stay with a migration camp or uh, pilot. And the uh, beach extension, which is at Afrochik, which is in uh, Indiana. As I mentioned before, there is other possibilities. These are the package one that we uh, are already offering. However, we have other alternatives as well, which um, you can request us and then we can customize. So that shall you wish to make a combination of um, more nights in Masai Mara and then Serengeti, or more nights in Masai Mara and then go to Kilindi. We can do that. Uh, when it comes to Elephant Pepper, Elephant Pepper Camp, um, it's a camp which is located within the Mara North Conservancy. It's a, a bush camp experience which provides closer game encounters. So it's very normal to be sitting in the chair in the veranda and have plenty of, uh, of elephants coming, passing by just a few meters away. So it provides as well this intimacy of having the, uh, the animals closer. Um, it's the back to the nature concept, uh, uh, way uh, closer to all the, the, uh, the wildlife that uh, compared to all the camps. And we are offering bushwalking experiences um, from the camps. Um, for Sheikh Diani, it's, uh, what I was mentioning, it's a beach extension, and it's located in uh, one of the quietest areas of the Yanni Beach. And we are offering the possibility of uh, relaxing in the beach, experiencing the great culinary delicacies of the coast based on the fresh fish and seafood, having water sports as well, and enjoying the beach. So when it comes to the departure dates, as I was mentioning at the beginning, Sky Safari is operating um, on fixed itineraries that we have seen, and then on certain schedules. So we can see on Kenya, on the left side, you will see the dark shaded and the light shaded. So the dark shaded, which are the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, are dates that we are operating with a minimum of two passengers. So if you have a booking, which includes two clients, then we can operate that departure. The light shaded ones are the days that we have to operate with minimum four clients. However, please do let us know if you have clients that they would like to depart on a date which uh, we have um, the restriction of four, please inquire because we may have other bookings. So we may be able to, uh, um, to uh, relocate some clients or offer alternatives so that we have the clients um, on the same departure and then we can finally operate with a minimum four. So please do not hesitate to let us know. On Tanzania, it operates uh, always a minimum of uh, two clients. So any other, uh, any departure every other day, is uh, eligible with, with uh, as low as two clients only. Um, shall you wish to operate in any other dates? If there is no availability, please do let us know. We will, uh, we will see whether that is feasible um, as per our internal request. So in terms of the colors, you will see that we have the brown, the blue, and the green. The brown are the dates which uh, fall under the high season. The blue are the mid season, and the green are the green or low season. When it comes to the rates, you can see the different rates uh, of the three packages. So we have Kenya Classic rates, we have Kenya Economy rates, and we have uh, Tanzania Classic rates. So divided by seasons, high, green, and then we have the park fees. They need to be added on top of the, um, the person sharing or single rate or the child rate that we have. You can see uh, we have the per person rate, then the single rate supplement, and then we have the, the child rate. In Tanzania, we have uh, something which is a little bit distinctive, which is that the tourism development levy, which is mandatory, and then we add as well, uh, we need to add it on top. These rates that we are seeing on this slide are right rates, so that each one of you, you have your commission level that you need to uh, deduct from here, uh, from, from this room. Um, some FAQs um, that um, are normally asked during the, the Sky Safari webinars. 
Um, then I will answer any other question that you that you have, but um, I would like to go through these ones which are common questions. So the Sky Safari plane returns Nairobi or Arusha about uh, 5 p.m. What happens if my guests depart earlier? So we do operate with these arrivals with uh, Sky Safari planes. However, shall you have an international departure um, in afternoon hours which are not competitive with this arrival, then we will book them on scheduled flight. So we will either book them on, uh, on Safari Link uh, or, uh, or Air Kenya in Kenya, and then uh, Air Excel, Oricare, or uh, Coastal Aviation in Tanzania so that they can fly early and then they can catch their um, international departure flight. When it comes to the luggage limitation, within the Sky Safari itinerary, when it is operated by Sky Safari, we have a limit of any kgs. However, when we have scheduled flights, the limit of the airlines are 15 kg. So keep in mind that if there are scheduled flights uh, within the itinerary, such as um, an early departure from the last camp or an extension, then um, 15 kilograms of flight. Are children allowed on a Sky Safari? Most welcome, and we really put emphasis in trying to accommodate um, their needs. So in each one of the camp, we have certain special activities that we provide that um, they are focusing on the children and uh, they are made for the children. Um, my guests are elderly and can't walk very far. Can they still come on Sky Safari? Yes, definitely. We will um, allocate them on the closest uh, rooms to the main areas so that they can uh, they can still enjoy the experience while having to walk as less as possible. Um, Sky Safari classic flights are on the Sky Safari plane. What about the extensions? Um, the extensions are on shelf. So if you have clients that they are uh, willing to extend their stay in some of the properties that we have mentioned, then they will be on shelf. So the plane is not going to be the same. Can we have uh, the plane for exclusive uh, usage? Yes, definitely. Um, there's obviously an additional cost for that, but we are more than happy to quote the plane for exclusive uh, usage. Shall your clients wish to be alone on their, uh, on their safari? Can we have private vehicle for exclusive uh, usage? Yes, certainly. The same, it comes at a cost, but we can uh, definitely provide exclusive vehicle usage for your clients. Can single travelers travel in a minimum two packs dates? As I was mentioning, whenever you have uh, a client that uh, they want to travel on a certain restricted departure, like minimum four or minimum two, but it's only one client, please do let us know. Because in the case of single travelers, it's very easy to um, to suggest you dates in which we already have clients, and if it uh, fits the client, then they can, I mean, uh, pay the single rate supplement and then just stay there. Shall the clients wish to go, no matter who else is uh, on the departure, they can always pay for two um, passengers and then they can travel. Uh, can we accommodate a group of over nine clients? As I was mentioning, yes, certainly. We can operate twice, or we can operate with a bigger plane, or we can even uh, sub higher plane, which can fit. Uh, this, the amount of clients that, that you have up to the airstrip limitations in each one of the places that we operate. Can we operate a Sky Safari Kenya and combine it with a Sky Safari Tanzania experience? Yes, definitely, we can do that. So um, what we do is that the client selects whether they want to start in Kenya or Tanzania, and then uh, we are providing the transfer between uh, Kenya to Tanzania or vice versa, and then they are starting their um, itinerary on the other side, so certainly. And uh, that's it. Um, I'd like to see uh, if we have questions so that I can I can help and um, and answer them. Great, thanks for that presentation, Mike. It was uh, absolutely fascinating, and there have been a few questions that have come through as you've been speaking. Um, so I'll go through those um, in order that we've received them. Um, they're all mainly relating to accommodation. Um, first question is, is it possible to use other Zanzibar hotels? Yes, definitely. In uh, Zanzibar, we can offer alternatives um, aside from uh, from Kilindi. We always recommend Kilindi, which is our own property, and we can offer that at uh, extremely beneficial rates and conditions. However, we can provide um, other alternatives, uh, shall the clients wish to stay in other properties. Um, okay, can we use a different hotel in Nairobi as well? Yeah, certainly. Um, um, if you wish uh, um, to use different type of property um, other than uh, Hemingway, we are more than happy to do that. So what we would do, you would send us, if you've made the booking, um, you would send us the, the details uh, of arrival of the flight, the details of the hotel that uh, you have booked for your clients, and then we will provide the transfers uh, from the airport to the hotel, and then from the hotel to uh, Wilson Airport, and then um, everything continues as normal. So 
um, the only thing that changes is that the hotel instead of being Hemingway's is the hotel of your choice. So they can, okay. they can do that. Okay. And for the rest of the lodges and camps, are they flexible as well? No. Um, on all the bush properties, the Sky Safari package has to use Elowana properties. It's an Elowana product, and we are taking advantage of being from the same group to provide the best quality of service that we can, and that is possible thanks to working with uh, with Elowana. So within the bush, we operate it in Elowana, and in Arusha, we use Cofinage. Okay, there's been a couple of requests for sending through details of all the hotels and also euro rates. Um, would both of those be available? Uh, no, it is based on uh, on dollars, so we are not providing uh, euro rates, unfortunately. Okay, and um, two more questions. Uh, which parks have open vehicles and which ones have closed ones? It depends on the regulations, but uh, for example, um, when it comes to Tanzania, we're operating in uh, in Tarangiri, we're operating with uh, open game drive vehicles. Uh, whereas, for example, in Serengeti, we have to operate with uh, closed game drive vehicles. Um, what I, since we have quite a number of properties, what I will do, um, because I see the certain uh, questions that uh, are um, coming as well, I can compile all the different properties that we have, uh, the different type of vehicles, and then that can be on an email to all of the agents. So we have all these things listed as well. Um, I see as well question about food and drinks included on the first night in Arusha or Hemingways. Yes, definitely, it is included. That's uh, that's on us. We take care of that, and it's within the same type of um, uh, uh, um, accommodation. So we have uh, the all inclusive, and it applies both in Arusha Coffee Lodge and in Hemingways. Um, so the premium drinks are non-inclusive, and then the non-premium drinks are, are inclusive. I see rates for 2018. Um, that's definitely something that we can work out. And uh, board basis in all extensions is exactly the same. Um, and as well in the pre-post nights. See question of uh, activities. Uh, <laughs> They're coming through thick and fast. Really yeah, yeah, I, I cannot, uh, I cannot keep up with that. Um, are game drives off road in all parks? Um, if uh, by off road you mean getting out of the tracks, no, unfortunately, uh, this is not allowed. So we are following, we're strictly following the rules of the park. So we cannot provide uh, off road drives uh, um, in the park. So we are following the trails which are delimited by by the authorities. Okay, that's that's great, um, and I'm sure you'll be able to send through all the details and everything. Um, final question, I think, from uh, Mark Lawson. Um, how's the current situation in Laikipia for, for Loy Saba? Has it settled down? Yeah, I mean, we are operating as per normal. There is no um, issues at all. Our camp keeps running and has been running, so there, there's no issue which is, uh, which is happening. Okay, that's that's all fantastic. Um, we are running out of time, um, so we will have to wrap up now. Um, mm -hmm. The presentation, as I say, this will be emailed through to everyone. Um, if anyone has any uh, questions, Miguel's contact details will all be on there, um, and we will get the transcript of the questions through to Mike so he can answer uh, every question. So thank you all very much for your time. Thank you, Miguel, for a fantastic presentation. And I look forward to uh, being presenting to you guys again at the next ATA webinar. Uh, thanks, everyone. It's been a pleasure. And um, as Chris was mentioning, you will have my contact details. Please do not hesitate to, um, to email me. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer all the questions. We will compile the ones that you have been um, um, putting here in the chat, and I'll try to answer all of them. Um, but please do not hesitate to ask any further questions that, uh, that you may have. We'll be delighted to, uh, to assist um, in answering them, uh, receiving your, uh, your requests, your inquiries, and then welcoming your guests. So thank you very much once again. It's been a pleasure, and I hope to see you within Kenya, Tanzania, um, enjoying the Sky Safari itineraries and the Ilawana properties. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, everyone.